Hi. Will you be left behind? Is it going to be peace or dashed into pieces? Is it safety or crafty? First Thessalonians chapter 5 was 1 to 3. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that are right unto you. For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction, God forbid, sudden destruction comes upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. Now in these verses, we see two groups of people. One is brethren, other one is they. Which group do you belong, my dear brother? Which group do you belong, my dear sister? Are you in the group of brothers and sisters, that is the children of God? Or are you in the group of them, our enemies? Daniel chapter 2 verse 17 to 19, it says, Then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to Hananiah, Mishael and Azariah, his companions. With whom are you having friendship? With whom is your association? That they would desire mercies of the God of heaven concerning his secret, concerning this secret, that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Verse 19. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. That is Daniel chapter 2, verse 17 to 19. From 1st Thessalonians chapter 5, we saw two groups of people. Now the Holy Spirit is revealing to us from Daniel chapter 2 verse 17 to 19. What does it mean to be in the fellowship of brothers and sisters? That is, the children of God. Here we see Daniel went to his house and there is Hananiah, Mishael and Azariah and Daniel. They were in companionship and they desire mercies of the God of heaven concerning the sacred. Because they do not want to perish. That is, they had the fear of the Lord. Where is your fear of the Lord, my dear brother or sister? Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Because Daniel and his companions had the fear of the Lord, that's where the knowledge started to begin. From Revelation chapter 6 verse 7 and 8 we can see that and when he had opened the fourth seal I heard the voice of the fourth beast say come and see and looked and behold the pale horse and his name that sat on him was death and hell followed with him and power was given unto him unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger, and with death, and with the bees of the earth. God forbid. Now, at present, the population of the earth is around 8 billion. Now, one fourth of it, that is the fourth part of the earth, means 2 billion of us are going to be killed very, very, very soon. My dear brothers and sisters, please be vigilant. Please wake up. The Holy Spirit is pleading with us. So, in Daniel chapter 2, we continue. It says, they desire mercies of God that they should not perish. Is it not? That's why when you have fear of the Lord, what will happen? You will humble. When we humble, our God is so merciful. He gives us a grace. That's why from James chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Actually, we can read from James chapter 4, verse 4 to 10. You because it's an urgent message. That's why the Holy Spirit is in a you know in a very hasty, out of love, you know. That's why. We'll go to the verses quickly, but you go to the Holy Spirit in your own personal fellowship. You fast, humble yourself and pray and plead with the Holy Spirit to reveal these things to you. He loves everybody. As long as you humble yourself, as long as you are not prideful, my dear brother or sister, He will reveal to you. He will save you from the lake of fire. Please, we are pleading with you. James chapter 4 verse 4 to 10. You adulterers and adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not. The friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Do you think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit that dwells in us lusteth to envy? The Holy Spirit who is in us, whoever has it, 
if anybody is not truly really born again from the outside the holy spirit will keep on knocking at your heart that's in revelation chapter 3 verse 90 to 22 thank you lord as many as i love i rebuke and chasten therefore be zealous and repent Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man, anyone hears my voice and opens, I will come in and dine with him and uh, sup with him and, uh, you know, he with me. That the door refers to the door of your heart. Please open your heart to the Holy Spirit, my dear brothers and sisters. We don't have much time. Verse 6. But he gives more grace. Wherefore, he said, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourself therefore to God and resist the devil. He will flee from you. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 8. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. This is how the Holy Spirit rebuke me, my dear brothers and sisters. That's how, you know. I humble myself and I repented truly and all the, you know, giving up all the hypocrisies and all that. Verse 8. Uh, verse 8 again. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your heart, you double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. How can we be enjoying life as if nothing is going to happen, my dear brothers and sisters? Don't let the devil to take your vigilance and fool you. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, my dear brothers and sisters. Then Daniel chapter 2, verse 20 to 22. Because they had the fear of the Lord and they humbled. What happened? Daniel chapter 2, verse 20 to 22. Let me have some water, please. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the Name of God forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. For wisdom and might are His. We know nothing. I know nothing. And I cannot do anything. We have no wisdom. We have no power. Except it be given from the Holy Spirit. In the Gospel of John. John chapter 3. I believe in verse 27. It says. No man can receive anything. Except it be given from above. Let's continue. Daniel answered and said. Blessed be the name of God forever and ever. For wisdom and might. Amen, are his. And he changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. He reveals the deep and secret things. He knows what is in darkness and the light dwells with him. Here in 1st Thessalonians chapter 5, he said, you know, about the time and the seasons. That's why when, you, when Daniel and his companions had the fear of the Lord and they humbled. Now the Holy Spirit has revealed to them the times and the seasons in the same way. How come the times and the seasons have changed and we do not know? Many of us do not know. We are sleeping. And the kings have been removed and new king has come. Still we do not know why. When you look at Daniel chapter 2 verses 17 to 19, please note that. What, is the, what does it say? It says, See, that they would uh, desire mercies of God of heaven concerning the secret that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Now, why we do not know that the you know, times and seasons have changed and the, kings has, uh, the king has been removed, a new king has been, you know, uh, set up. Why we do not know? Because we, we believe this so-called wise men of Babylon. That's why. See, why they are wise men of Babylon? Oh God, forbid. this is not to you know, judge anybody or pinpoint at anybody, but the Holy Spirit wants to reveal to us so that he can save us from the lake of fire. The wise men of Babylon is like, because you know there is no fear of the Lord. They, they tell to us what, oh, there, you, surely you will not end up in lake of fire. That's the same lie in Genesis chapter 3 when the serpent came and told Eve. He says what, surely you will not die. That's a lie. Whereas our Lord, our Lord God Jesus Christ, who died a gruesome, painful, slow death on the cross, whom we profess to serve, many of us we profess to serve, in John chapter 14, thank you Lord, verse 29 to 31, the, our Lord was talking to the disciples, but he says, 
Hereafter, I will not talk much with you because the prince of this world comes and he has nothing in me. See how vigilant our Lord God Jesus Christ himself was. And we, where is our vigilance? Where is the fear of the Lord? And we profess that we are following him. See, oh please, please, this is not to, you know, judge anybody, but please, this is so serious. Daniel and our Lord said what? My sheep will hear my voice. The strangers, they will not hear. They will flee from them. Let me have some water, please. So the wise men of Babylon, because there is no fear of the Lord, so they are careless. They make us also to be careless, give up our, you know, the vigilance and all that. So, first point is carelessness. Because of carelessness, what will happen? The I can't say the word, so we will, we will shortly we are going to see. Revelation chapter 17, verse 1 to 6. The, uh, you know, they are drunk with the wine of the who are. You try to figure out. I can't say the word. Alright. So, because of carelessness, they are drunk with the wine of the who are. So, the third point is, it's a drunk mind, not a sound mind. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6 to 8. Thank you, Lord. It is talking about the sound mind. We cannot have the, uh, the you know, the spirit of fear is not given from our Father God. It comes from the devil. So, third point is, they do not have the sound mind. They have the drunk mind. Because of drunk mind, they are sleeping. Number four, not only them, whoever listen to us. Oh, God forbid. Even if we listen to them and believe them, same thing for us. Oh, God forbid. Because the same spirits, you know, you are what the spirit you allow into yourself. Thank you, Lord. So the fourth point is they are sleeping. Because sleeping, fifth point is they are in darkness. And the sixth point is they are blindness. They are spiritual blindness. And seventh point is they are the children of the night. This you can see from First Thessalonians, Thessalonians chapter 1 to 11. Because uh, there's no much time. That's why the Holy Spirit just stopped with only three verses. But you please meditate on your own. So the seventh point is children of the night. And the eighth point is because children of the night, our Lord's coming. It's going to be very soon. And it's going to be, he will come as, as a thief because they are not in the light. And the ninth point is, it's not going to be a day of redemption. It's going to be a day of wrath. That's in Romans chapter 2 verse 4 and 5. Oh, do you despise his goodness? And you know, his... his um, Goodness, forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of the Lord did you into repentance. According to the hardness and impenitent heart, you are touching up wrath against a day of wrath and the righteous judgment of our God. Oh God forbid. Please, please, the Holy Spirit is hum you know pleading with us to humble ourselves. And the tenth point is they will be left behind. So please, today you you make sure. You, you you know, humble yourself and ask the Holy Spirit to search your heart and He is the one who witness in our spirit whether we are the children of God or not. That's in Romans chapter 8 verse 17, I believe. Thank you, Lord. Let's move on. Revelation chapter 17 verse 1 to 6 about this wise man of Babylon. Let me have some water, please. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials. These are the vials which are going to be poured onto this earth. That's in Revelation chapter 16. Thank you Lord. The seven vials and talk with me saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great who are. You try to find out. I mean figure it out yourself. It's not a, you know, a very difficult thing. Great who are that sits upon many waters. Waters refers to all the, you know, human human being. That's in Revelation chapter 17 verse 15. Thank you Lord. Verse 2. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. This is what the, the wine and the, the drunk mind and all that. Verse 3. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored uh, best, I will say best, you, you go and find out the word, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and 
scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. That fornication refers to spiritual fornication. That is, if anyone, me or you, oh God forbid, have mercy on our souls, oh Lord. If me or you, whoever it is, give our ear to any other spirit other than the Holy Spirit, that is spiritual fornication. Now, we don't have time to go in uh, deep into that. Now, let's continue. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of, again, the word, ha, and then some other, lots. And abomination of the earth. And I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. That's seal number five. And seal number five of Revelation chapter six. And I saw her. I wondered with great admiration. Let's continue. Sorry. So that's why the, the so-called wise men of Babylon, they do not know that the seals have been opened. Revelation chapter 6, uh, you please ask the Holy Spirit and meditate. Daniel chapter 8, thank you Lord. Uh, sorry, Daniel chapter 12, verse 8 to 13. It says, when Daniel is asking, it says, uh, the, the, the angel told that seals are closed till the latter time, that the end of the times. But now we are in the end of the times. So now the seals are open. Thank you Lord. So, Revelation chapter 6, verse 1 to 2. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat on him had a bow and a crown, and uh, was give, uh, a crown, sorry, sorry, a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Because in a hurry, you know, that's right. Let me ask about this. That seal one is referring to the Antichrist, coming of the Antichrist, it has already happened. You, I cannot, I don't know if I can go in too much in detail. And there are words that I should be careful, I shouldn't be saying around, you know, three, three and a half years back. You know what happened and all that. The whole world was under one power. That's all for the time being I can say. That's Revelation chapter 6, seal 1. And let's continue, verse 3. And when he had opened the... Please try to recollect what happened three, three and a half years before. Alright? That, that, then only the, these things, uh, you know, we, we pray that the Holy Spirit will open your eyes and you can see what it is. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given unto him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Now are you getting it? What happened three and a half years before? To take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. God forbid. Oh. And there was given unto him a great sword. Kill one another. You know what I am trying to say here. On the hand and on the forehead. I can't say the words. So you, you figure it out yourself. On the hand and the forehead. So dead in the spirit. Because in you can see in Genesis chapter 3. Our Lord, our Father God, what do you say? He said to Adam, the day you eat of the fruit, you surely will die. But Adam lived 930 years after that. So, is our God, was our God lying? No, God forbid. That every man, be, God alone be true, but every man be a liar. But what happened? What happened to the uh, Adam and Eve that day? They died spiritually. Same thing here. And there went out another horse that is red and... Uh, you know, he said, and power was given unto him to take peace from the earth that they should kill one another. So the fear of death, fear of death is slavery to, to the devil. That's in Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14 and 15. Thank you, Lord. Fear of death. Ephesians chapter 2, 1, 2, 3. Thank you, Lord. The, the, uh, you know, the, the power, the prince of the power of the air. Thank you, Lord. And the spirit that works in the children of, uh, of disobedience and all that is there. These are all in the previous messages. Please go to the channel Grace Fresh Food Ministries and you can say, I believe that uh, the playlist is Trap of the Great Tribulation, the said, uh, Apostles of Apostasy and all that. Those are the playlists. Please go and, you know, pray 
fast, humble yourself, ask the Holy Spirit while uh, as you watch those messages. Now, take peace from the earth that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. The, the sword in Matthew chapter 10, our Lord says, I have come not to bring peace to this earth, but the sword to, you know, to separate the relationship. Whom, anybody love any other person more than God, that is dangerous. It's, a, it's like an idol. So God is helping us to save, you know, to save us from the lack of fire. He's bringing division. That's the meaning of that great sword. Let me have some water, please. Revelation chapter 6, verse 5 and 6. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see, and behold, and look, black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand, and heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts, a measure of wheat for a penny, three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou, you hurt not the oil and the wine. Now this third seal is happening in front of our eyes, my dear brothers and sisters, all over the world. Look at the prices of the groceries, look at the mortgages or the rent or the fuel prices and all that. It's happening in front of our eyes, third seal. So seal one, seal two, seal three, now seal four is going to happen. The two billions are going to be killed very soon. And seal five is when martyrdom will take place. Let's continue. And it's here it says, hurt not the oil and the wine. Oil refers to the Holy Spirit. Wine is the agape divine love of our Father God. Only the love. You know, when we love God, only those who love God will be saved. And we, of course, we have to endure till the end. And for that, we need the Holy Spirit. Revelation chapter 6, verse 9 to 11. Let's continue. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. So whenever truth is come, the devil hates it. That's why, you know, even before when I before I was saved, when somebody tells this truth, you know, this kind of truth to me, I get disturbed and, you know, the I get disturbed and all that, I get angry. You know, those spirits that were controlling, it doesn't mean you are possessed or something like that, but from outside they can control your mind. They will turn you against the people who are telling us the truth out of love. The Holy Spirit who talks to those brothers or sisters, but, you know, those spirits, evil spirits will try to turn us against them. So in the same way, here, um, what is it? Ah, yeah. Revelation chapter 6, verse 9 to 11. When he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. That's why the truth, the devil hates the truth. Continue. Let's continue. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season. Make sure you know the time and the seasons. They should rest for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. In Matthew chapter, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, Matthew chapter 24, thank you Lord. Verse 35, our Lord says what? Heaven and earth shall pass away. Pass Pass away, excuse me. But my word shall not pass away. Everything will be fulfilled. So here it says, this is talking about the martyrdom. So my dear brothers and sisters, please remember the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Let not allow, let's not allow the devil to, you know, steal our vigilance, the fear of the Lord and, you know, make us into fools and, you know, drag us into the lake of fire. God forbid. Please, humble yourself. This is about eternity. Like, it's going to be forever and ever and there is no end in the lake of fire burning forever and ever. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth and wailing because of extreme pain. See, the flesh will resist the Holy Spirit. That's why in Mark chapter 9 verse 44, thank you Lord, it's, our Lord is telling in the lake of fire, their worms will not die. If we give importance to the flesh, which will resist the Holy Spirit, no matter who, even a donkey, God can use a donkey to talk and save us from destruction. Why can't we listen to a brother or sister? Why we have to be so prideful and, you know, let the devil steal our grace? 
That's what we saw in James chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. So please humble yourself. We have to humble ourselves, then only we will be able to hear the Holy Spirit. So in the lake of fire, because for those who gave importance to the flesh more than the Holy Spirit, what happened? The worms will not die. The worms will keep on eating the flesh. That's why Mark chapter 9 verse 44, it says, the, Their worms will not die and the fire will not be quenched. So please, my dear brothers and sisters, I am humbling like a loving brother or not, no, not only me, the Holy Spirit who is in me, he is pleading with us. Please humble, fast, pray and ask the Holy Spirit for the truth, my dear brothers and sisters. May the Lord have mercy on our souls. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you.